Good morning, Patrick Henry. Welcome to Friday Morning Meeting. This is Mr. Devon, your interim principal, and I will be leading the Friday Morning Meeting. Welcome back from spring break. I hope everyone found time to get outside, to read a few great books, and really enjoy the break. This week, our VIP will be Ariana Lucky, and she will join us right after the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, student teachers and staff. My name is Ariana. Today I will be talking about prioritize. Prioritize means to me putting important things first and then organizing the rest of the stuff. Stephen Covey, an American editor, businessman, public speaker, and an author whose most popular book is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People Say the Key is Not to Prioritize What's on Your Schedule, but to Schedule Your Priorities. One time, my mom told me to clean my room along with my other chores. In order to get it done, I knew I had to put important things first. I had a, I had to prioritize to finish it before dinner. I did my chores first because it was the easiest to get done. Then I cleaned my room and I got it done before dinner. My mom was so very happy. She let me play outside a little longer. If I did not prioritize my chores, my room would have stayed messy. I would not be able to find any anything in my room. And my mom would have been mad at me. Me, me. Like Stephen Covey said, schedule your priorities to be organized and to get the important things done. And remember to do a good job every day. I am Ariana and thank you for your time. Great job, Ariana. Prioritizing is so important when you have multiple tasks to complete and knowing which one to start on first. Now, on to this week's cultures. Ms. Stark would like to thank Aaliyah Cheek, Sadie Board, Sam Greco, Maddie Crafton, Malachi Roan, Beatrix Power, Sydney Beck, Esme Campbell, Kaya Ball, Kabayu Claiborne, Oliver West, Ford Kilbreath, Zoe Melton for having your cameras on, always participating, and keeping things interesting in class. You make our virtual classroom more fun with your engagement and enthusiasm for learning. She is so thankful that she can rely on you to always volunteer in class. Keep up the hard work. Ms. Stark would also like to thank all of her language art students who have read their stories out loud during class. She loves your enthusiasm and your courage. Ms. Price has caught us for Ashaya Saluki, who has developed a new outlook on school and her hard work and determination has proven successful. She comes to class early and actively engaged. Miss Price is so proud of her. Way to go, Idaho! Violet De La Cruz is always ready to learn and has shown great creativity on each project. Aiden Henry has greatly improved on his third quarter. He shows great enthusiasm in class and offers support and encouragement to his classmates. I have a Katja from the PTA who would like to send out Katjas to Miss Evans, kindergarten class, Mr. Schwartz, fourth grade class. Each student sent in their picture for the yearbook 
which puts two classes at 100% participation. Fantastic job. We'd also like to thank all those Patrick Henry students that sent in their portraits and virtual learning photos this year. We know it's challenging this year and understand not everyone was able to. This year's yearbook is turning out wonderful. And if you are interested in ordering one, you can find a link on the Patrick Henry website. If you order before May the 6th, you can get two free custom pages and can also send a request for digital signatures from your friends and teachers. Well, that will do it for the Conscious for this week. I look forward to having more next week. So do your best and encourage and support each other throughout the week. Before I sign off, I do have one special announcement. Mrs. Wampler is our Teacher of the Year for Patrick Henry. Congratulations, Mrs. Wampler. She will represent Patrick Henry and move on to compete to be the Teacher of the Year for the City of Richmond. Good luck, Ms. Wampler. Well, that's all I have for this week. Everyone have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend. See you all on Monday.